acquainted friend, and every one doth call me by my name. Some tender money to me, some invite me, some other give me thanks for kindnesses, some offer me commodities to buy. Even now, a tailor called me in his shop, and showed me silks that he had bought for me, and therewithal to measure of my body. Sure, these are but imaginary wiles, and laughably if sorcerers inhabit here. Master, here's the gold you sent me for. What, have you got the picture of old Adam new apparel? What gold is this? What Adam dost thou mean? Oh, not that Adam that keeps the paradise, but the Adam that keeps the prison. He that goes in the cast skin that was killed for the prodigal. He that came behind you, sir, like an evil angel, and bid you forsake your liberty. I understand thee not. No? Why, tis a plain cause. He that went like a base vial in a case of leather. The man, sir, that went when gentlemen are tired. Gives them a sob and rests them. He, sir, that takes pity on decayed men and gives them suits of dirt. He that sets up his rest to do more exploits with this mace than a morris pike. What? Thou meanst an officer? I, sir, the sergeant of the band. He that brings any man to answer that breaks his band. One that thinks a man is always going to bed and says, God give you good rest. Well, sir, there are rest in your foolery. Is there any ship that puts forth tonight? May we be gone? Why, sir? I brought you word an hour since that the bark expedition put forth tonight, and then you were hindered by the sergeant to tarry for the hoy delay. Here are the angels that you sent for to deliver you. The fellow was distracted, and so am I, and here we wander in illusions. Some blessed power deliver us from hence. <laughs> well met, well met, Master Antipolis. I see, sir, you have found the goldsmith now. Is that the chain you promised me, sir? Satan, avoid! I charge thee, tempt me not! Master, is this Mistress Satan? It is the devil. <laughs> Nay, she is worse. She is the devil's dam, and here she comes in the habit of a light wench. And there comes that the wenches say, God damn me. That's as much to say, God make me a light wench. It is written that they are paired like angels of light. Well, light is an effect of fire, and fire will burn. Ergo, light wenches will burn. Come not near her. You are marvelous, Mary, sir. Will you go with me? We'll mend our dinner here. Master, if you do, be speak a long spoon. Why, Dermio? Be Mary, he must have a long spoon that must eat with the devil. Avoid then, fiend. What tells thou me of supping? Thou art, as you are all, a sorceress. I conjure thee to leave me and be gone. Give me the ring of mine you had at dinner, or for my diamond and chain you promised, and I'll be gone, sir, and not trouble you. Some devils ask for the pangs of one's nail, a rush, a hair, a drop of blood, a pin, a nut, a cherry stone, but she, more covetous, would have a chain. Master, be wise, and if you give it her, the chain, the devil will shake her chain and fret us with it. I pray you, sir, my ring, or else the chain. I hope you do not mean to shoot me so. Avaunt, thou witch. Come, Dromeo, let us go. Fly pride, says the peacock. Mistress, that you know. Now, out of doubt, Antipolis is mad, else would he never so demean himself. A ring he hath of mine with forty two pits, and for the same he promised me a chain. Both one and other he denies me now. The reason that I gather he is mad, besides this present instance of his rage, is a mad tale he told today at dinner of his own doors being shut against his entrance. They like his wife, acquainted with his fist, on purpose shut the doors against his way. My way is now to hie home to his house and tell his wife that, being lunatic, he rushed into my house and took perforce my ring away. This course I fittest choose, but forty ducats is too much 